Instagram. What up, though? I'm just kidding. If you would... <laughs> Hi, thank you for listening and watching. If you would like a personal reading from me, check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. And if you would be interested in purchasing a reading from me, definitely purchase your reading directly from my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. The link should actually be in my Instagram profile. Um, the link to text me should also be in my Instagram profile as well, but you can text me at 703-791-9162. I'm on Eastern Standard Time, and I would love to read for you. So this is my actual first Instagram reading. Um, this is for October 2019. I'm going to cleanse the cards really quickly. Thank you for cleansing the energy of this deck from any past readings. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. I'm actually excited. It's my first Instagram reading. And um, this is not gender specific. This is not zodiac sign specific. It's a general read for the rest of October 2019. So if you want your own personal reading from me, definitely check out my website. I do have a special right now, one question for $15. So let's get into it. And just see what's in store for you watching this video for the rest of October 2019. What's in store for all those watching this video on Instagram? All those who are connected to Spirit for October 2019. All those who are followers of my Instagram page. What is in store for the month of October 2019? I wish there was a way to do this live. If you all know a way to like you do this live and actually record and I have to hold it while I record, I'll also be able to upload it to IGTV, let me know. It seems like Instagram is kind of becoming like YouTube. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe Lamar Towns and Tarot. So let's just go ahead and pull cards. <clears throat> In the past, I get the Eight of Pentacles, which if you can't see, please let me know. There we go. Oh, it's not helping. Maybe if we... Let's change the lighting to... Go right there. There we go. Perfect. So the card is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is working hard. And a lot of you have been working hard. A lot of you have been overworking, probably. Feeling like you have kind of worked yourself to the bone. A lot of you have been feeling like probably since last month, September 2019, that the work that you've been putting out, you know, you're not getting your your just due. You're not getting your, your just rewards for what you feel is your hard work, what you feel is your also money earned. I'm hearing money earned. Present position, I get the six of wands. So there could be an element here of jealousy. Maybe you're dealing with jealousy. In the workplace could be jealousy in your friend group or something like that could also be you comparing yourself to others comparing what you have or don't have to other people um and also maybe for those of you who are a little bit more privileged maybe not seeing the privilege that you do have and maybe pissing certain people off actually i'm picking that up very in tunely i guess or very specifically is a better word to say that i get the six of coins here in the future position with the queen of swords here so some of you could be dealing with air signs libra gemini aquarius male or female queen of swords energy is once again someone who feels that she deserves her just due this could be you this could be someone you're dealing with let's pull more cards to get the wheel of fortune next to the queen of swords and the queen of swords is facing the temperance card so i'm just going to show you what i have so far here I don't know if you can see the spread, but this is what I have so far. So what this spread is telling me is that some of you are learning to work hard, smarter and not harder. Some of you are learning that maybe what is right for you, what is enough for you, is not enough to someone else, meaning maybe your enough isn't someone else's enough, whether that is in terms of love, money, or otherwise. You know, maybe, you know, your boss's enough is not enough for you. Maybe you feel like you need to be paid more. Maybe your partner's enough, you know, in terms of the love and affection they show you isn't enough for you. You need more love and affection. But there's also something here where you need to speak up as well about what you feel isn't owed, what you feel is 
um, not just do, all right, you know, like what, what's not, you know, you're not getting justice in some way, way, shape or form for some of you. So some of you do need to speak up, use that throat chakra to voice your opinions, to voice your feelings. Some of you are holding a lot in. Um, and I feel like it's through you voicing your opinions and through you speaking up is where your blessings are actually going to come in faster. And what I mean by that, now this can mean speaking up to whoever you need to speak up to, but this also could mean praying, you know, speaking to your ancestors, speaking to God, like, you know, just using your throat chakra to let your voice be heard. But I feel like most importantly, it needs to be heard by spirit. All right. More than anyone else. So definitely pray. See travel. Possibly during the la latter part of this period for you all. Travel. Could be something about pets. Maybe a pet. A, vi a, vis a, a surprise visit to, to the the vets or something like that. A pet and vet. Vet pet. Uh, with a chariot also coming out. This could be that you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Possibly for some of you. Possibly a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male. It's interesting, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio male or person could be coming to visit you or could be coming in your town, surrounding area. This ironically could be like a celebrity or someone you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe you find out this person's coming into town and you like are like, oh, I have to go and find out like who, like where they are or I have to get tickets or it's like something like that. <clears throat> I hit the star. So either you are visiting a certain surrounding area and someone wants to see you. Someone is visiting a surrounding area and may want to see you. Or a celebrity is visiting your surrounding area and you're going to want to see them. Or possibly they're going to want to see you. I'm not sure. That's going to be different for all of you. I get the sun. So this is an open path. A lot of you are definitely... Something about vacation. Some of you could definitely be taking vacations during the latter part of this period. And I'm also getting that through using your throat chakra, once again, through using your voice, speaking your truth, you're going to be allowed to take a vacation. Like, maybe there's something about through using your throat chakra, through using your voice, you attract more attention to you, you attract more wealth to you or something like that, which affords you the privilege, you know, to travel or the privilege to go on vacation or... Do something earlier than you expected, I feel. So there's also an element here where some of you could be ending up doing something earlier than you expected. And it's like, oh, got that done. Check. So October seems to end on a pretty good month. Could be something about health issues, feeling like um, health issues are holding a lot of you back or health issues could be holding a lot of you back. Judgment card to me means health issues a lot of the times. Underneath a judgment card, I get the 10 of swords, all right? Which could mean as well that... Whatever health issues are going on could be um, self-inflicted, all right? This could also deal with stress, worry. And I always say in my readings, you know, if, you're my, if you've gotten a reading from me, you know I say stress can, in, you know, inflame uh, health issues. You know, that type of energy can inflame health issues. Holding things in, your feelings in, especially if they're toxic feelings that you need to get out, you need to express that can exaggerate or inflame health issues, you know. So keep that in mind moving forward as the month goes ahead. I have the Page of Swords once again, which is the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Underneath that, I get the Eight of Swords, or the Eight of Wands, I'm sorry, which is a lot of activity. Uh, maybe this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is busy. Underneath that, although I get the Page of Cups, so this is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could deal with children, ironically, if you have children, they could have a lot going on. Maybe you have two children specifically that are like in differing activities or something like that. One kid could be maybe more intelligent or smarter than the other or more and more like brain based activities. And the other one could be more maybe creative or um, ath athletic activities. If not that, this could be, interestingly enough, your your partner. I'm picking up something about your partner because I get the lover's card. All right. And maybe, once again, I'm getting something about feeling like maybe your partner's not spending enough time with you. Or for some of you, you feel like some of you are looking at other people's Instagrams. And you see the lovey-doveyness and you see how, like, everything seems picture perfect and you want your life to be that way. 
it's not Instagram, you're looking at their Facebooks, social media, something like that. Know that everything is not as it seems when it comes to other people, all right? A lot of people show you only what they want you to see. So that, stop comparing yourself to other people. If you are comparing yourself to other people, stop comparing yourself to others in October 2018, okay? My Instagrammers out there, my, my followers. I get the Queen of Pentacles. But that I get the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be some good news if you're a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, female later part of this month, moving into October, I feel. Could be some good news um, as well if you're a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio woman going into business maybe with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or maybe there's a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio who has, who has helped you with business in some way, shape, or form. Not sure. Either way, I feel like there is something about good news when it comes to business, job, career. All right, uh, regardless of whether you're a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus woman or not, I feel good news regarding career. Good news regarding money at the end of the month. So I would say if you're worried about money, money does get way better by the end of the month for sure. Um, yeah, I definitely see money getting better by the end of the month. The only thing is, is I just see like it's like all these good things are coming in. And it's just like you don't want to mess up. You don't want to mess anything up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, uh, my family member just messaged me. They want me to do them, give them a, a reading. But I was like, girl, I have to get on Instagram real quick. Okay. Let me just finish this up before I get to her. So, um, I lost my train of thought. It's going to come back to me. Money, money. Um, a lot of you have all these good things coming your way, but you don't want to mess up. You don't want to make the wrong move because you don't want to end up where you started. You don't want to end up where you started. You don't want to end up where you were last month in September. You don't want to end up where you were at the beginning of this month in October. You just want to move forward and you want to surround yourself with like-minded people. Oh, my phone's on 5%, so I'm going to really have to end this reading soon. Unfortunately. I feel like you will surround yourself with like-minded people by the end of the month. Like I said, I think the end of the month's going to be... On a good note, I would just say make smart decisions, make wise decisions, try not to be too spontaneous, prioritize, okay? I want you to definitely prioritize because it's no good to, for example, go out and have fun with your friends when your friends are done with their work for the week. Meanwhile, you're going out and having fun, but you have to go back to work, you know, on Saturday because... You didn't prioritize earlier in the week and you had to take a day off and now you're behind and your friends are like living their best life. It's like something like that where it's just like you need to make your like smart decisions and prioritize when it comes to your money, your time, your energy and your efforts. Otherwise, I see success money career wise and things like that could be a new job opportunity coming through. So if you're looking for a new job, I see something maybe coming through by the end of the month. All right, or at least, at the very least, hearing something, murmurings about an interview or something like that by the end of the month. So, love and light. I hope this reading resonated. Once again, if you want a personal, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. I would love to read for you. You can also call me at 703-791-9162 or text me. And I also have a special one dollar for, or one question for $15.00. And I also have a special 20 minutes of a psychic tear reading, 20 minutes of a birth chart overview reading for $55. Otherwise, I have basic, you know, readings as well, where I do same day readings as well. I do email readings. I do recorded video readings and so many more. So check all those out. Love and light. God bless and no stress. No stress. I guess I'll see you next month. This was actually a lot of fun. So I'm going to do this again. All right. Share this video, by the way.